go get some world-class, amazing food down at the beach. And that's what we have in our kitchen this morning, Cherish. Yeah, Jack Baker's going to tell us about it. He's from Cosmos and Cobalt. Black-eyed pea fried shrimp is just the beginning. You have all kinds of sides to go with us. Yeah, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the jicama slaw. Um, we're going to make the dressing with it real quick if we can. Yeah. We've got some mayonnaise. We're going to add a little sugar, some lime juice, mm -hmm. a little rice wine vinegar, a little pineapple uh, juice, and some salt and pepper, a little a couple of dashes of hot sauce. Interesting blend. And I like we'll, it. Uh, and then we'll mix this up, and then we'll julienne up the vegetables real quick for it. Okay. We've already got a little green onion done over here and a little bit of cilantro cut. So this, you just want to mix up the rice wine vinegar. Adds a little different flavor as opposed to apple cider vinegar, which most people use uh, down here. Mm -hmm. um, you can even omit the mayonnaise if you don't want the mayonnaise base and just do more of a vinegar base with the sugar, if you like. So you mix that up. Mm -hmm. The smell of that vinegar really comes out. All right. We have a little Japanese mandolin here. You can pick these up at any little like uh, Bed Bath & Beyond or any kind of little kitchen equipment place. Uh, it really does a good job with your vegetables. Let's uh, see this in, in, in working. Be careful because it's very, very sharp. And you just come down it. Check that out in action. Definitely saves you the time of having to do the uh, thin julienne sticks. Yeah, that'll save a lot of All time. Right, so there's you some jicama. All right, and then we have a little apple. This is a gala apple that we use, but you could use a Granny Smith or a Honeycrisp, whichever one you like. Um, you just want to add a little bit of the sweetness from the apple in there, and you just roll it around. I like to get the skin in with it. All right, so a little bit of that. And finally, carrot. A little bit of carrot. All right. Okay. That was quick and easy. Yeah. We all need one of those, don't we? I know. We? Just, you got to be careful because I've seen a lot of guys cut themselves. And then just as with any slaw, we're going to put a little bit of cabbage in there. Mm -hmm. um, so you just thin julienne it. Now, what would happen if you put that on your nifty difty shredder? Um, there's a different blade that you could put in there, and you can actually do it, and it will come out just like this. Uh, so it is a nice little indispensable, uh, indispensable tool for the kitchen if uh, anybody wants to go and get it. And then for a little more color, a little bit of red cabbage. Okay. All right. And then we'll mix all that up. It's nice and colorful. We'll add a little bit of the dressing. And that's uh, pretty much it? And that's pretty much the slaw. It's like just about any other slaw that you'd get. It's just got a little bit of different vegetables to it. Okay, and I mentioned you're also going to do some shrimp. You're going to do mm -hmm. some um, fritters, some corn, and goat cheese fritters? We do. I'll mix Ooh. that up if you want here in just a second. This uh, all sounds really good. Now, we want to talk about Shrimp Fest because I mentioned that a little bit earlier in the show, and that is going on this weekend, Thursday through Sunday. You're going to be there? Uh, we're we're going to try and be there. We uh, we took third place in the uh, Shrimp Fest Chef's Challenge. Congratulations. This was, this was the dish that uh, we uh, got third place with. Um, so there will be a lot of other places out there that that sell food. Uh, we don't really have a booth. Um, but you're not too far away. No, we're only a few miles down the road. Cobalt is down at the uh, Alabama Point Bridge. Um, it's right under the bridge. Uh, at Alabama Point, Cosmos is on Canal Road. Uh, we've been there for 10 years, so uh, most anybody, uh, well, just about 10 years, nine years this year, uh, just about anybody knows where we are. Yeah. So you can come on down there and check us out. All right, so if you're making a weekend of it, go by, stop by Cobalt. Cosmos Shrimp Festival is this weekend. This recipe is on Fox10TV.com on our Studio 10 page. Can't wait to taste one of these fritters. We're going to start those in just a few minutes. All right. Back in our Studio 10 kitchen with Chef Back, Chef Back, Chef Back in the Studio 10 kitchen with Chef Jack 
from Cosmos and Cobalt. You guys do fantastic work. Been to Cobalt a couple times. Absolutely love it. This dish Appreciate looks fantastic. It. What are we going to work on this segment? Uh, this is the goat cheese fritters. And in the bowl, we have some green onions, cream cheese, ricotta cheese, Ooh. and goat cheese. And to that, we're going to add some shoe peg corn and some cooked off diced bacon. Oh, man. And uh, an egg. On a scale of one to delicious, how do you think this is going to turn out? Uh, it turned out very well. Um, <laughs> you know, we've definitely uh, sampled it a few times as mm -hmm. we've been making it. And so, so you're saying delicious is the answer to that question. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> um, so with this, we'd mix it up real good and uh, get it all mixed up. We already have a little bit already mixed up there, so that's what it should look like. And then we uh, take a scoop and scoop it and coat it with our seasoned breadcrumbs, which has some oregano and thyme in it, and get it ready to fry. We'll set this aside and move on to something else. Uh, we're going to make the black-eyed pea fritter, and if you have a food processor, that really, that really uh, helps the job out. We uh, cooked some black-eyed peas. You can buy canned black-eyed peas. You can use creamer peas or whatever. Uh, basically, you put all your ingredients in the food processor, eggs, black-eyed peas, uh, your spices, uh, salt, pepper, creole spice, oil, garlic, a little bit of ground ginger. Um, and then we'll mix all this up, and it comes out to be a nice, uh, a nice little batter. Uh, beer added into it. I onions. was going to say I've seen that uh, that Miller Lite out there for a while. I was wondering what we're going to use that for. Um, we're not drinking it. We're going to add it in, and it's going to make almost like a little tempura batter um, as you mix it up. Adds a nice little flavor to it. Uh, and then if you were at home, you just take this and, and run it until it got to be a good smooth consistency. Chop up the black eyed wow. peas, uh, all that. And then again, we have some made already. It's a nice batter uh, that you take and mix. That looks fantastic. Now tell us, we, you touched on a little bit in the last segment. This is the dish you made to take third place in a recent shrimp festival. Tell the folks more about that. Um, they had us uh, go to Faulkner State Community College, and we competed for a panel of judges. And everyone was given Alabama wild shrimp, uh, which was the main ingredient, of course, is Shrimp Fest. And then you were to come up with a dish, a creative dish, and you were judged on creativity, taste, appearance, uh, and a couple other criteria. And out of, I think we had 20 teams, we came in uh, third. So we're happy for that. We would have loved to have gotten first, but, you know, we are happy with third. <laughs> yeah, so. third is fantastic. Basically, when you're in the top uh, three out of 20 there, that's the top 15%, so that's pretty good. Right. What we're making now is our uh, smoked jalapeno tartar, and uh, in that I already had some chopped parsley and the roasted jalapenos. Uh, we added onion, sweet relish, dill relish, creole mustard, salt, Worcestershire, and lemon juice. And then if you have a little handheld mixer, uh, you can use that. It works great. Or if you wanted to rinse out your food processor, you could do the same thing. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to let you keep working on that. The recipe is online. We're going to come back and start frying up some of this shrimp as well and the fritters. Looking forward to it. Thanks a lot. All Chef right. Jack. We said it was going to be a lot of food. There's a lot of food over there. There is. He's getting busy over there. And, uh, you know, this weekend we talked